Well, a major funding agreement has been reached between Ottawa and the Grassy Narrows First Nation in Ontario over mercury poisoning. Tens of millions of dollars will be given to care for people suffering from poisoning after mercury was dumped upstream from the community decades ago. Logan Turner has more. Grassy Narrows First Nation is set to receive a specialized mercury care home nearly 60 years after mercury was first dumped into the English Wabagoon River. It was right here on the powwow grounds of Grassy Narrows First Nation that Indigenous Services Canada Minister Mark Miller announced nearly $69 million to operate the facility. That's in addition to $20 million earlier announced to build the facility. It was in the 1960s and 70s that industrial pollution contaminated the water causing the mercury poisoning of fish and later people in the area. It has been estimated that nearly 90% of the First Nation suffers from some sort of symptoms of mercury poisoning, which ranges from numbness of the fingers and toes to seizures and even cognitive delays. Grassy Narrows Chief Randy Fobister called the moment a historic one for the community. A significant milestone to today's signing, you know, the, the agreement that's, you know, Myself, uh, Mark Miller, signed today along with council. So we're, we're really, we're really happy about it. The care home comes as a result of decades of activism, including blockades, marches, even a former chief leading a hunger strike on the lawn of Parliament Hill. Chrissy Isaacs has been advocating for mercury justice for decades. I don't want my kids to live this way. I don't want my grandchildren my grandchildren to live this way and I feel like it took a handful of people you know to make that stand and then everybody like literally came together. Construction on the facility is expected to begin in spring of 2022 with a possible opening in spring of 2023. But Grassy Narrow says this is just the first step in what they're calling mercury justice. They're calling for compensation to address a wide range of social, cultural and economic impacts of the mercury poisoning. As well, they're demanding an end to logging and other industrial activities that are taking place in their traditional territory. Logan Turner, CBC News, Grassy Narrows.